You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty King Hamid expressed delight at the success of the surgery undergone by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Saudi monarch with speedy full recovery, abundant health, happiness, and long life so as to continue serving Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman assured His Majesty the King about the health of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The Saudi Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sincere fraternal feelings, wishing him abundant health and happiness as well as further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, chaired the first meeting for the well-being of those with special needs in which members of the High Committee of the Disabled Affairs took part and which was held virtually. First, the Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Premier for his keen follow-up on all matters that relate to those with special needs and for directing the formation of the committee in order to guarantee the rights of this section of the population and further deepen the principle of social partnership. Ahmedan welcomed the members of the committee and affirmed their responsibilities as well as the importance of contributing to the well-being of those with special needs in order to integrate them into the society and allow them to participate in developing it. He also expressed the importance of caring and rehab of those training those with special needs, which he said reflects the government's keenness on the well-being of the section of the population. The meeting then discussed various topics, which include the various challenges that lie ahead within the next two years, which will be tackled in line with a developed plan that will create opportunities and clarify the priorities of everyone involved. The meeting affirmed the importance of carrying out social, social work along with a comprehensive national vision. The Bahrain Embassy in the United Kingdom held a virtual conference entitled The Kingdom of Bahrain Experience in Applying Alternative Penalties in which many representatives, academics and diplomats participated. The Director of the Execution of Penalties, Director Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Khalifa also participated. Bahrain's Ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa affirmed the alternative penalties are as part of the directives of His Majesty the King who is keen on deepening the principles of human rights and the development of legislation and law in order to further develop the society. This represents the third conference of this sort, which comes as part of a series of events that are being carried out by the embassy. The ambassador gave a presentation during the event on Bahrain's region-leading experience in protecting human rights and putting monitoring bodies in place to ensure the execution of a series of measures of which alternative penalties are a part. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,496 with 414 recoveries and 462 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health announced the death of a 63-year-old expatriate male from COVID-19 and expressed its condolences to the family of the deceased. This takes a death toll to 137 in the kingdom. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap and water on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact, this while covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and coughing and avoiding public spaces when possible.